When you think of a Texas sunrise, you think of this great big vast open land and this beautiful sunrise coming up over the hills. And you know what? We're gonna turn that directly into a cocktail that's really simple to make. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. Now this is a three ingredient cocktail that you'll wonder why you weren't making before. And it is going to be served in a tall highball glass. Now, any tall glass will do, depending on what you have available to you. But before we get into building this cocktail, this video was sponsored by the Vector Bar Mixology app for the iPhone. Now we're going to actually use some fresh fruit in this. In this case, I have a big orange that we're gonna use. And for that, I'm going to use a large glass to hold this in. Because of the size, it actually won't fit very well in my squeezer. So you may have to actually just uh, chop this up depending upon what you're actually using. Now, if you're using something that's store-bought, you won't have to do that. But again, you just have to remember that you may have a whole bunch more sugar in there than you may actually want. And you'll actually get a much brighter, more vivid orange color. And you know what? It's to each their own, whatever you prefer most. And make sure you squeeze it all. And you're going to want to keep a section because you're going to actually rim the glass with a little bit of salt. So you want to use the juice directly from the orange to give you that ability. Got a little bit there on the counter. I'll have to clean that up. Now, as I said, you want to make sure that you keep a little piece of the orange off to the side. Clean up your area in case you have happen to have a, a spill like I just did. Right? And then what we'll do, as I said, is we will use this to rim the edge of the glass and then dip that rim in salt. Once you've done that, make sure you knock off the excess. That way you don't get anything actually inside the glass and you're ready to go. And we're going to fill this with some solid cubed ice. You could, however, use something like pebble ice, but you don't want to use crushed ice because that's not going to give you the effect that you're looking for. And yeah, good enough. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to start this with a little bit of mezcal. Now I'm using Madre's mezcal. It's 45% ABV, and this will give you the fantastic smoky flavors that'll remind you of a campfire on the Texas plain. And you know what? For this, we're gonna use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Your next ingredient is going to be your orange juice. Now, because I squeezed my oranges directly, I have a little bit of pulp in there, but if you'd prefer no pulp, you can just strain that out as you pour it into the glass. But we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. And this will give us a gorgeous pale golden sunrise look, but we need to actually add our direct fiery sun. Now, there's a couple of different ways you could do this. You could use grenadine, However, I've chosen to use a little bit of standard maraschino cherry juice. Now, you don't need a lot for this. We only need about a half an ounce, and you'll just pour it slowly around the edge like so. All right, once you've done that, you're going to get this gorgeous dispersal of that fire coming directly up out of the bottom. And here you have a gorgeous Texas sunrise, and you know everybody wants to actually experience one of those. So we'll give it a try. Mm, really good. Mm. You get that mezcal, but it's muted. There's a hint of smoke that goes with the orange and you get the cherry juice. It's not overly sweet because we didn't use the grenadine. It's gorgeous in its own right. If you like a sunrise or sunset style cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right up here. 